fight back or no just let him tire himself out and we can actually get started <laughs> They're just crash pads. Sensors that connect to the VR simulator. They're just gonna make sparring with your opponents a little more um, realistic. Meaning I'll feel the hits. Seriously? You're scared of a little pain? I'm not scared. <laughs> yeah, you are. Your heart rate's 174. Ooh, 178. Hey. Tim, relax. Connor. Stop looking inside of people. He's no help to the team if he can't suck it up. Hey, don't put your shit on me. You're the one that freaked out about not taking down that witch. Boys, there was a break-in at the MPD evidence warehouse, and two people are dead. What got stolen? 40 gallons of blood. Watching me, aren't you? No, just monitoring your stats. I look like an idiot. You should see me doing lateral lunges. I look like a demented hermit crab. You got the results on the blood analysis? Uh, yes. Um, so each victim has a genetic mutation that traces its origins back to an ancient Assyrian tribe, the Kurzus. Never heard of it. Guys? Come check this out. That's the symbol from the slaughterhouse. Where'd you find it? It's a screen grab from a beta version of a video game. This guy, Sebastian Sanger, uploaded it online. Says he's the creator. All right, um, let me see what I can dig up on him. You think he could be a part of this? Like, one of the killers? The symbol from the crime scene just happens to be the centerpiece of his game? My first day of fourth grade, I wore the exact same green striped pants as my best friend, Kaya. Got him. Sebastian Sanger, place of birth unknown, raised in Metropolis by Sandra Sanger, foster mother, currently employed at Wolfman's Taxidermy. I think we better find him fast. I've just taken a morally questionable peek at Sebastian Sanger's medical records, and he's the same genetic mutation as the other victims. So for all we know, he could be the next one. <laughs> 